good evening all welcome to this new session we will try to see what is submental space what are the boundaries what are the common pathologies we can encounter in submental space or floor of the mouth and especially we will enlighten about frog face view so coming to the submental space ultrasound the submental space is uh, lies in the deep compartment of head and neck in the midline below the chin nothing but it superiorly it is formed by the mylohyoid superiorly it is bounded by the mylohyoid muscle inferiorly by the deep superficial layer of the deep cervical fascia laterally you can see there will be anterior bellies of digastric anteriorly you can see it is bounded by mandible posteriorly by the hyoid bone and the contents can be anterior jugular vein and submental lymph nodes that is level 1a so this is the typical submental space boundaries and we will try to see what is the frog face view this is the typical frog face view and what are the parts which comprise the frog face view so coming to the area which is shaded by pink is nothing but the skin and subcutaneous fat both these are nothing but anterior bellies of digastric which mimics the eyes of the frog so these two are the anterior bellies of digastric next this is the mylohyoid muscle next this is the geniohyoid muscle next this is genioglossus muscle and these both are nothing but the sublingual glands and lateral most this shadow is nothing but the body of the mandible so this typically mimics the frog face view we'll try to compare with the frog face and then you can clearly understand so remember these all these components of the submental space which mimics the frog face view next uh, we will try to compare here you can see both the eyes of the frog are nothing but depicted by the anterior bellies of digastric here you can see this is the mouth outline mouth outline is nothing but the mylohyoid muscle and the floor of the mouth superficial part of the floor of the mouth is nothing but the geniohyoid deep part of the floor of the mouth is nothing but the genioglossus and the laterally these bulgings are nothing but the sub sublingual glands and laterally by the shadows are nothing but the body of the mandibles as we have already seen in the previous slide these are all the various superficial to deep structures we have to remember in the frog face view or submental space ultrasound view so this is the typical frog face view next what are the common pathological process we can encounter in the floor of the mouth or submental space view here you can see we can also see this is the pro position we have to remember for the submental space or floor of the mouth lesions next uh, the cystically common pathologies which can enter we can encounter are ranulas dermoid cyst or epidermoid cyst which are nothing but cystic lesions inflammatory process or non infectious inflammatory processes sometimes stenosis or calculi can be seen with obstruction even high vascular high flow arterial venous malformations low flow venous malformations and sometimes lymphatic malformations and sometimes even veno lymphatic malformations can be seen neoplastic lesions like benign can be lipomas and malignant can be squamous cell carcinomas or cerebral gland malignancies and sometimes pseudo tumors can be also seen in this floor of the mouth or submental space view next we will so this is the typical frog face appearance next we will try to see one case here you can see the patient presented with presented with swelling in the submandibular region on right side here you can see this is the swelling in the submandibular region this is the submandibular space and this is the sublingual space and this is the mylohyoid muscle and this is the typical frog face view so here you can see there is a cystic lesion which is extending from the submandibular space into the sublingual space and also you can see there is a small breach or defect noted in the mylohyoid muscle here you can see clearly see there is a breach or defect in the mylohyoid muscle and there is a cystic lesion which is extending from the submandibular space into the sublingual space through the defect in the mylohyoid muscle and this frog face view typically demonstrated this cystic lesion which is bilocular and even there you can see there are few internal leakos so this is a classical case of plunging ranula and thanks to dr sachin rajput for contributing this case so this is the importance of the frog face view and submental space views where you can uh, diagnose uh, various entities which can present in the submental space and even floor of the mouth thank you all